In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel. According to St. John chapter 1, verses 35 through to 42. Again, the next day, John stood with two of his disciples. And looking at Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. And Jesus turned, and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say when translated, Teacher, Where are you staying? And he said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and remained with him that day. Now it was about the tenth hour. And one of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now when Jesus looked at him, he said, you are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, which is translated a stone. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true followers of yours. In the scripture reading from St. John today, we read about John the Baptist, who was standing with a couple of his disciples, and they saw Jesus walking by. And he said this, these words, Behold the Lamb of God. God. These two disciples who heard him speak, they followed Jesus. And Jesus was wondering why they were following him. And they said that they wanted to see where he was staying. What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, where are you staying? They, Jesus then said, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. One of the two heard John speak and followed him it was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. And when he first found his own brother Simon, he said to him, We have found the Messiah, we have found the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now when Jesus saw Simon, son of Jonah, he said to him, You shall be called Cephas, which is translated as stone. Cephas. Of course, we know this better as Peter. Simon became Peter. One of the twelve apostles. What do you seek? Jesus said to these disciples of John the Baptist. He's also asking you, what do you seek? What do you seek in following Christ? 
That's a question you need to ask yourself. Especially during this preparation period of Advent. As we prepare to celebrate the birth of Christ. What do you seek? What do you seek in following Jesus Christ? What are you after? Think about it. Think about it. Yes. As being a Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ, what do you expect to get? You don't get a bed of roses. In fact, you get a bed of thorns. It's not an easy life being a Christian. Many people find it hard and difficult. Because as Jesus has said this in other parts of scriptures, we are to take up our cross daily. This instrument of torture daily in following Jesus Christ. It's not easy. No, far from it. It's the opposite. But our reward at the end for carrying this cross is the kingdom of God. Being in the presence of God the Father with all the angels praising God. This is what we need to seek for. We seek this. Eternal glory in the presence of God the Father. So as you journey on this Lenten fast, preparing yourself, read the scriptures, get to know Jesus, get to know God through Jesus Christ and following him. And remember to take up your cross every day. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us.